Hello students, welcome to my channel. This video contains class 8 International Social Studies Olympiad Previous Year Paper 2021 Set A. You can also find other Olympiad papers of class 8 in my channel. I have given the link in the description box. Please do watch. Before going to the video, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. Let's move into the video. So first section is history. In this you will be having 20 questions. Each carry one mark. The first question is Warren Hastings became the first Governor General of India in 1860, 1784, 1873, 1773. The right answer for this question is, it's option D, 1773. Question number 2. Select the incorrect statement. First one is Aurangzeb was the last of the powerful Mughal rulers. Option B, Amir Qasim was made the Nawab of Bengal after the Battle of Plassey. Option C, the British fought four battles with Mysore. Option D, policy of Paramountcy was initiated by Lord Hastings. The incorrect statement is it's option B. Mir Qasim was made the Nawab of Bengal after the Battle of Plassey. So, what would be the right answer for this statement is yes. Instead of Mir Qasim, Mir Jafar. Mir Jafar was made the Nawab of Bengal. After the Battle of Plaza. Question number 3. Which of the following statements is not true regarding the reforms introduced by Warren Hastings in the sphere of justice? Option A. Each district had two courts. Option B. Fawjdari Adalat handled the civil cases. Option C. The criminal courts were run under a Kazi and a Mufti, but under the supervision of the collectors. Option D is Maulvis and Hindu Pandits interpreted Indian laws for the European district collectors. The right answer is it's option B. Fawjdari and sorry, Fawjdari adult handled the civil cases. Question number four. Who among the following sultans? Enlarged Kwat ul Islam mask. The first one is, is Razia Sultan, Alauddin Kalji, Muhammad bin Dukluk, and El Tumis. The right answer is who among the following sultans? Right, who among among the following sultans enlarged Kwat ul Islam mask? So the right answer is it's Alauddin Kalji and El Tumis where enlarged Kwat ul Islam mask. Hence option D is the right answer. Question number 5. Who was the Governor General of India when the permanent settlement was introduced in 1793? Options are Thomas Munro, Robert Clive, Charles Cornwallis, William Betnick. The right answer is it's option C, Charles Cornwallis. Question number 6. Battle of Tarain was a fought between Muhammad of Ghazini and Prithiviraj Chaugan. Prithiviraj Chaugan and Jai Chand. Muhammad Ghori and Muhammad of Ghazini. Then last one is Prithiviraj Chaugan and Muhammad Ghori. The right answer is the Battle of Tarain was fought between Prithiviraj Chaukan and Muhammad Kori. Question number 7. 
Select the incorrect match on the basis of crops in British India. Option A is Jute Bengal, B is T Assam, Option C is Wheat Punjab, then D is it's Cotton Bihar. So which is the incorrect match on the basis of crops in British India is it's option D Cotton Bihar. So what is the right match for this option D is yes during the British period in India right the cotton was introduced the cotton was introduced in Maharashtra and as well as in Punjab. So Bihar is the wrong match here the right answer is it's Maharashtra. Question number 8. Through the 19th and 28th centuries, tribal groups in different parts of the country rebelled against the changes in laws, new taxes, new education policies and restrictions on their practices. So the right answer is through 19th and 20th centuries, tribal groups in different parts of the country rebelled against the changes in laws. Changes in laws, new taxes and as well as restriction on their practices. So the right answer is, it's option D. Question number 9. In 1801, a subsidiary alliances was imposed on Dash and in Dash it was taken over. Options are Awadh, 1853, Jansi and 1853, Awadh and 1856 and Jansi in 1856. So the right answer is in 1801 a subsidiary alliance was imposed on Awadh and in the year 1856 it was taken over. So the answer is it's option C. Option C. Question number 10. Beham Hazrat Mahal took an active part in organizing the Uprising against the British. She was from Dash, Hyderabad, Bengal, Delhi, Lucknow. The right answer is a Beham Hazrat Mahal from Lucknow. It's option D is the right answer. Question number 11. Dash during Shah Jahan's time was an important center of a Safi culture. It had several Dargas, Kankas and Idgas. Options are Delhi, Agra, Awadh and Murshidabad. The right answer is it's option A, Delhi. Question number 12. Which Mughal emperor annexed Golconda? Options are Akbar, Jahangir, Shah Jahan, Aurangzeb. The right answer is it's option D, Aurangzeb. Question number 13. Identify the type of weave shown in the given picture. Options are Jamdani. Option B is it's Patola. Option C is Calico. And option D is it's Bandana. The right answer is it's option B, Patola. Question number 14. Identify the legendary sword shown in the picture and select the incorrect statement regarding it. Option A, it was made in late 18th century. It was made from high carbon steel called Oots. Quotations from Koran were written on it. It belonged to famous Mughal king Akbar. The figure which is so here is, is a tiger of Mysore. The name of this sword is tiger of Mysore. And this sword is owned by the king Tipu Sultan, not by the Mughal king Akbar. And this word is made in the late 18th century, that is the closing years of 18th century and made from high carbon steel carl woods and quotation from Koran were written on this. So which is incorrect over here? It's option D. Question number 15. Who among the following was the follower of Guru Nanak? Options are Kostila, Lehana, Anuruddha and Gavampati. 
So the right answer is it's option B Lehna. Question number 16. Who was the founder of Arya Samaj? Options are Dayanand Saraswati, Raja Ramohan Rai, and Ishwara Chandra Vidya Sagar, Pandita Ramabai. The right answer is who was the founder of Arya Samaj? It's option A, Dayanand Saraswati. Question number 7. Who founded the self respect movement? Periyar, Ambedkar, Gandhi, Vivehananda. The right answer is it's option A, Periyar. Question number 18. Who was the traitor in the Battle of Plassey in 1757? Options are Mir Kazim, Lord Clive, Amir Jafar, and Sirajudullah. The right answer is it's option C, Amir Jafar. Question number 19. When did Nadir Shag invade Delhi? Options are 1650, 1739, 1757 and 1761. So the right answer is it's option B. 1739, Nadir Shah invade Delhi. Question number 20. Jawaharlal Nehru, realizing the importance of Dash, called them the temples of modern India. Options are dams, schools, industries, parliament. The right answer is Jawaharlal Nehru realizing the importance of dams. Call them the temple of modern India. It's option A is the right answer. The next section is its geography. Question number 21. Which of the following factors makes a substance a resource? Options are utility, patent, quantity, origin the right answer is it's option a utility question number 22 weather phenomenon like rainfall fog and hailstorm occur in which of the following layers of atmosphere options are stratosphere troposphere mesosphere and thermosphere the right answer is it's option b troposphere question number 23 the ozonic crust mainly consists of silica and aluminium, iron and nickel, silica and magnesium, aluminium and iron. The right answer is its option C, silica and magnesium. Question number 24. In which of the following methods of soil conservation, the bare ground between plants is covered with a layer of organic matter to retain soil moisture? Options are intercropping, contour ploughing, mulching, terrace forming. The right answer is it's option C, mulching. Question number 25. Which of the following physical factors determine the use of land? Topography, soil, climate, availability of water. The right answer is all the physical factors will determine the use of land. Hence, option D is the right answer. Question number 26. Which of the following are major factors of soil formation? First one is its nature of parent rock, climate, human behavior, agriculture. The right answer is the major factors of soil formation are its nature of parent rock, and the climate. Hence, option C is the right answer. Question number 27. Which of the following statements is incorrect? Switzerland has no known mineral deposits. The oldest rocks in the world are in Western Australia. The first tidal energy station was built in Japan. Coal is referred to as a buried sunshine. Which is the incorrect one? Yes, the right answer is the first tidal energy station was built in Japan is the incorrect one. So the right answer is the first tidal energy station was built in Northern Ireland. The 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कॉन्टिनेंट्स इज द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ बॉक्साइट इन द वर्ल्ड ऑप्शन आर साउथ अमेरिका एफ्रीका ऑस्ट्रेलिया एशिया राइट आंसर इज इज ऑप्शन सी ऑस्ट्रेलिया क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन मणिकरण इन हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड पोगा वैली इन लडाख आर फेमस फॉर टाइडल एनर्जी जियो थर्मल प्लांट्स न्यूक्लियर पावर स्टेशन एंड ऑप्शन डी एस इट्स वन मिल द राइट आंसर इज इट्स ऑप्शन बी जियो थर्मल प्लांट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एज अ रिवर एंटर्स द प्लेन इट ट्विस्ट एंड टर्न्स अ फॉर्मिंग लार्ज बेंट्स नोनस ऑप्शन आर ऑक्स बाउलेक्स मेन्डस फ्लड प्लेन्स एंड लीवीज सो द क्वेश्चन इज एज अ रिवर एंटर्स द प्लेन इट ट्विस्ट and turns forming large bend known as its option b meanders question number 31 commercial raising of silkworm is called das options are pisci culture vitti culture seri culture and horticulture the right answer is its option c seri culture Question number thirty-two: Which two gases make up the bulk of the atmosphere? Options are carbon dioxide, nitrogen, argon, and oxygen. So the right answer is the two gases make up the bulk of the atmosphere is its nitrogen and oxygen. Question number thirty-three: Intensive subsistence agriculture is prevalent in the thickly populated areas of the monsoon regions of South, Southeast, and East. Dash. Options are Africa, Australia, Asia, and America. The right answer is it's option C, Asia. Question number thirty-four: Select the incorrect match. backbone of modern industry is steel the first mechanized textile mill in india is surat manchester of india is ahmedabad and manchester of japan is its osaka so the right answer is its option b the first mechanized textile mill in india at surat is the incorrect one so what would be the right answer yes the first mechanized textile in india was established at maharashtra that is in mumbai in the year 1854 so option b is the incorrect match here question number 35 Select the option that currently identifies some of the states in which Ganga Brahmaputra basin lies. Some options are given here. Given here, just go through it. So the right answer for this question is yes. It's option C, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and West Bengal. Question number thirty-five. The next section is social and political life. In this, you will be having ten questions. Each carry one mark. Question number thirty-six. Select the odd one out on the basis of the states that have a bicameral legislature. Options are Bihar, Karnataka, Kerala, Maharashtra. The right answer is it's option C, Kerala. Question number thirty-seven. India adopted a strategy of separating the power of religion and the power of state this separation of religion from the state is referred to as nationalism secularism socialism liberalism the right answer is its option b secularism question number 38 select the correct statement Rajya Sabha is also called as the House of the People. Option B, Lok Sabha is presided over by the Vice President of India. Option C, current strength of Rajya Sabha is two forty-five members. 
and option D is current strength of Lok Sabha is 552 members. So the right statement here is it's option C. Current strength of Rajya Sabha is 245 members. So what would be the right answer for this remaining statement? Rajya Sabha is also called as the house of the people. No, it's called as the house of states. Then Lok Sabha is presided over by Speaker of Lok Sabha, not by Vice President. Speaker of Lok Sabha. Then current strength of Lok Sabha is 552 members. False. Actually, the maximum strength of Lok Sabha is 552. But the current strength of Lok Sabha now is it's up to 543. So the right answer is it's option C. Question number 39. When we believe that people belonging to particular groups based on religion, wealth and language are bound to have certain fixed characteristics or can only do a certain type of work, we create a stereotype, discrimination, violation, harassment. The right answer is, it's option A, stereotype. Question number 40. In E-Road, the arrangement between the merchant and the weavers is an example of wholesale marketing. Whole, sorry, it's option A is cooperative. Option B is wholesale marketing. Option C is export business. And option D is a putting out system. The right answer is, it's option D. Putting out system. Question number 41. Select the current statement about weekly markets. Option A. Weekly markets have permanent shops. Option B. In weekly markets, most things you need are not available at one place. And option T is. Weekly markets have large number of shops selling the same goods. Option D is. A weekly market is held every day. So the question is, select the correct statement about weekly markets. It's option C. Weekly markets have large number of shops selling the same goods. Question number 42. Around dash of India's population is Adivasis. 8%, 15%, 3% and 20%. So the right answer is, it's option A, 8%. Question number 43. The scheduled caste and the scheduled tribes, Prevention of Atrocities Act was passed in the year 1965, 1975, 1979 and 1989. The right answer is it's on 1989. Question number 44. The old Tehri town and 100 villages were submerged by Tehri Dam. Where is Tehri Dam? Options are Punjab, Uttarakhand, Madhya Pradesh, Kerala. The Tehri Dam situated in Uttarakhand. Option B is the right answer. Question number 45. Union Carbide was Dash Company. French, American, German, Australian. The right answer is it's option B, American. The last section is Achiever section. In this you will be having 5 questions. Each carry 3 marks. Question number 46. Read the following sentences and select the option that correctly identifies them as true and false. First one is one of the features of the constitution was its adoption of universal adult franchise. Second one is many Indians contributed to the forming of the constitution. And third one is a Poti Sri Ramalu, a veteran Gandhian leader, died fasting for a separate state for Marathi speakers. The last statement is, in 1947, the government set up a planning commission. So statement 1 and 2 both are true, whereas statement 3 and 4 are false. 
so what is the right uh, answer for this uh, statement 3 and 4 yes potti shri ramalu he belongs to a telugu so avatar and gandhian leader died fasting for a separate state for not for marathi for telugu telugu speakers then in 1947 the government set up a planning commission no in 1950 so which is your right answer yes it's option d is the right answer question number 47 match the following columns and select the correct option so in column 1 khan abdul ghafar khan is given so just have a look on this column 2 yes is related to kudai khidmatkar then option b is mohammad ali jina and he is an ambassador of hindu muslim unity until 920 then chakravarti rajagopalachari he is the leader of salt satyagraha in south the last one is sarojini naidu and she is the president of indian national congress in 1925 so finally your right answer is its option c question number 48 match the following and choose the correct option so in column 1 agriculture just have a look on this yes in agriculture is science and art of cultivation of the soil then pisci culture is a breeding and rearing of fish and viti culture yes it's cultivation of grapes and horti culture is it's growing vegetables and fruits So finally, the right answer is its option A is the right answer. Question number forty-nine. The given map shows the location of four tribal groups of India in the nineteenth century. Identify the tribal group P, Q, R, and S on the basis of given information. P. These people saw themselves as people of the forest who could only live on the produce of forest and considered it below their dignity to become a laborer then option q was they were hunter gatherers living in the forest of odisha then r is this group practiced subtle cultivation and land belonged to the clan as a whole the last one is these people were shepherds So just go through it. Option P is the people saw themselves as a people of the forest who could only live on the produce of forest and considered it below their dignity to become a laborer. Yes, the P is its baigas. Then what about Q? They were hunter gatherers living in the forest of what is R? Kondas. Then R is it's the group practiced settle cultivation and land belong to the clan as a whole as it's a munda the last one is it's gadis those people were shepherds so finally the right answer is its option b question number 50 population pyramid of a country is shown in the given picture the question is what does this pyramid depict just go through the pyramid so the question is what does this pyramid depict birth rate and death rate both are high in this country death rates amongst the very young people are low then option c is birth rate and death rate both are low in this country then option d is death rate of infants is very high in this country The right answer for this question is it's option C. Birth rate and death rate both are low in this country. So hope you all like this video. Thanks for watching.